Well, here we are on our way to Estes Park with this new 2023 Ford F-350 Super Duty. It's the Limited. Yes, the Limited, it's the very best Super Duty made. And this one, you know, it's 14,000 gross vehicle weight rating. It's rated to tow over 30,000 pounds. It only costs 102,000 for all the toys in the world. This is, this is the top of the line Super Duty. And we're gonna take it up to Estes. Haven't been up that way in a long ways, but you know, this thing will tow over 30,000 pounds, 500 horsepower on its high output power stroke and 1,200 pound-feet of torque. It can farm with this thing, but yeah, this is cool. Of course, it's a Dually 350, and it is pulling a Cimarron horse trailer we borrowed from Trans West, north of Denver. So we're gonna take this up the hill and back, and then show you all the other cool stuff. Massaging seats, folding seats, it's got all the stuff in it, man. Bunch of cameras, I will tell you all about it. Come join us for the review. phone charger. Look at that. In the LED or the heads up display as your blinker tells you to shut the blinker off. Well, <laughs> There we go. I forgot a couple cameras, so this is this is what you get when that happens. <laughs> so I gotta get going them back down the mountain here at Estes. And we got tow haul mode. I got the exhaust brake on. Yep. Not that I need it, I want to pull them out 10,000 pounds because that's we had this is a real short-term loan. Andre drew this back from Detroit and then I got it when he was done with it, so I get one day. Anyway, we're still happy to be doing it. Love this Cimarron Trader. It matches the truck. Similar colors. And we're up here and coming down from Estes on Highway, I think it's 36. Yeah, it makes sense. 34 is lovely. So this is where we are. Bump through here where they sell the cherry juice. Cherry cider. We get that a lot. I love that stuff. But now I'm going to be showing you all these different things. I'll talk about them first, then I'll get the camera out and I'll point at them so you can see all the cool stuff. Because this is one loaded truck. And the intro I talked about being 500 horsepower and 1,200 pound-feet of torque on this high output power stroke. That's, the, that's class leading. Nobody's got that much power. And I helped Andre pull this up the Ike Gauntlet yesterday. Saturday and uh, did, did really well. Makes it compared to a 3500 Chevy Dually. And that's what this is. This is an F350 Dually. And it's awesome. This is all, basically all new truck. I mean, there's a lot of sheet metal the same. The headlights are different. The tail lights are different. The interior is a little different. This is a limited. So, this is the most expensive truck Ford makes in a Super Duty. And it's got and new for this year's heads up display. Looky there, heads up display. I'm showing you on the asphalt so you can see it really well. But look at the hood. Look over the nose of the hood. You can see everything. It's great visibility. Even on this big F350, I can see right in front of it. I love that. Got, um, I mean, I, I, it's got massaging seats. That was not new this year. But also, the seats recline clear back. It's got cameras everywhere, which is really cool is the camera that when you turn on your blinker 
uh, it'll show you all the way down the side of the trailer, which is wonderful. But we've got one camera out on the on the uh, trailer, so you can see all the wonderful scenery up here. Beautiful mountains. Love living up here by the Rockies. Well, I'm not living up here. I come here all the time. Oh, the fan kicked on. We're going downhill. I don't think a grade shifting because we're running about 2200 rpm we are going downhill so i expect to do some grade shifting with this 10 speed on his v8 power stroke this puppy it's got 12 inch screens it's got uh same mirrors that it had but man the heads up display is so awesome and the, they've done a lot of things to it the tailgate they did the camera on the tailgate now so that you know you naturally back up you can see with that camera but with Yep, this back step is lower. I don't know how much exactly, but that's cool because this makes a real nice way to get up into the bed. I like that. And under here, got your plug in for your gooseneck, and you got plug in for putting cameras on your trailer. You get all these cool tie downs. And you got 2,000 watts of power over here. Pretty cool. Here's the ball and the tie downs for your safety chains. The tailgate down, you could like see was the ground. So now they got to tell the, the camera back there will move up. So you can still see where the trailer is. And then this has got all these pro scale things anyway that, you know, it'll, it'll actually weigh your trailer a ton. And it will help you adjust your weight distributing hitch uh, after you know the weight of your trailer. And then as you move, you move the load back and forth. It'll show you on the screen or even on the tail lights uh, where you're at to get it centered on the trailer or you know level on the trailer, which is great. Those are all cool things that this does. Also has an app for when you're in your tow haul mode system. When you're going down the, the highway, it'll tell you what the bridge height is where you're going which might help you a lot, a lot if you have like a 12.5 or a taller RV trailer, you can know what's going on before you knock the air conditioners off your RV, which is all good, it's all good. So many cool things, you know, and then, you know, more and more cameras that they come out with. This has always had all kinds of radiators, like three of them on there to keep you cool. And this, on this new uh, 6.7 power stroke, it actually, besides cooling off, you know, the bushing on your, on your turbo it actually cools off the outside housing so it's got water running all over the place keep you from over overheating when you're pulling kind of loads this canyon over 30,000 pounds you've got to have all kinds of systems to keep you cooled down and keep you running but yeah this is an awesome truck I mean a crew cab beautiful seats is limited it's got these gorgeous seats in it they're like tuck and roll or whatever they look similar to Lincoln has I love these seats now the front ones fold down and they got massaging seats. I'll show you all that. Of course this is adaptive cruise control, which is actually works with the trailer. And then you have a, like a two stage uh, exhaust brake. You can have full exhaust brake or you can have the automatic exhaust brake that you, you know, tap it with your brake and it sets that speed. So it's, it's that's a wonderful system to have. But, uh, yeah, this thing flies down the hill, and then you know they did last several years ago. They put that extra motor on the on the steering shaft to make it easier to steer. And they just keep making this better and better. It's one of the best riding trucks out there now. I wish it had air like Ram, but maybe someday we'll talk them into that. But yep, it's beautiful up here in the Rockies. If I can get close enough to the river, you see how much water's in it. Things are kind of overflowing now because we had a early thaw because of the heat. And now it's up here, we're at 70 degrees. No, we're not, we're at 80 degrees. That's how it was in Andre and I was up uh, on the Agonel, we were at 80 degrees. Or 77 degrees to 80. But that, that was pretty crazy. But anyway, I think it's got uh, pulling, we was pulling uh, with Andre a 20, what the heck was it? 27,000 pound trailer. And it was getting like two and a half miles a gallon, which is like a semi would going up 8% grades on the Ike Gauntlet, which, you know, that's a very big torture test just doing that. You run up eight miles at 7%. So that's how you heat up a heat up a truck. So it's 
good test that Andre and I did. You'll see that on the TFL truck channel, YouTube. Man, there's a lot of this guardrails bent the heck up here. I wonder who all's been running off the road. I hope they all made it. Great gauges. I mean, this has always had turbo boost. Tells you engine brake percentage, exhaust filter, uh, def fluid. They call it engine brake, but this is an exhaust brake on these sides of trucks. Shows you the def level. You got so many gauges on here. That's great. And of course, it was, Ford's always with this 10 speed showed you which gear you're in, which I think they all should do. Ram does it kind of. I just wish GM would catch on to that, needing that. And they could use a few more gauges like a turbo boost. But anyhow, and this is cool, this dually, it hardly leans at all on these switchbacks on all these curvy roads we're on. But this being a limited, you know, right in the console, shows you the VIN number, shows it's a limited. This is as good as it gets on the Ford line, which is pretty plush. This has got those exotic, those uh, running boards that fold in when you close the door, which I like those. I, you know, I'm getting old, I can't jump as high as I used to. And this one has a gooseneck ball in it, which is what we're using right now. You also get, you know, fifth wheel in there. And it's got a, it's a 2000 watt uh, kind of a generator on this. So, you know, which is pretty good for just, you know, warming up some stuff back there on the tailgate. I mean, a tailgate party, it'll run a lot of things, 2000 watts. Most of these companies only have 400 watts. It's like five times more than what the average truck is using for power. So you've got that. You got, of course, the phone charger, all the normal stuff. Adaptive cruise control with traders is wonderful. I use that all the time. I'm a big fan of adaptive cruise control. Check it out because there's so many things on this. I mean, my goodness. And it's also because it's a limited. I think the top two tiers have auto leveling headlights, which is wonderful. You know, you just, even if you can't quite get your truck level with the load, if you're squatting a little bit, it'll adjust those headlights down so you're not blinding people coming on. You're not you know, shining in the, in the trees or the clouds. So I think that's a great thing, an automatic, uh, you know, headlight angle. But, you know, a lot of stuff on here. My goodness, and now it's got the new steps, the step on the bumper, which I, I really thought that was great. The Chevy did that with their Avalanche. Now they have it in their trucks. But I'll go into that. But this, and on a Ford line, you have that step on the bumper, so you don't really need all that stuff on the tailgate. But the tailgate is cool too. That lever is what I use on my truck all the time. They actually took that step and made it lower, which is good. So you get a better angle climbing back up in there. Then they also have a step up by the cab, which you use for a crossover toolbox getting into it. But both of those new steps, actually you can get an, uh, an optional extra step below that that drops down and you push it back up. And that gives you like a staircase going right up there. They got to do this. They keep making these darn trucks so darn tall. They all three are making tall trucks. So we got to be able to use them. I wish they would not be as tall because that makes it easier to hook up with a gooseneck or a fifth wheel and they have clearance by your bed rail. We leveled this trader all out. This is a beautiful Cimarron. Like these are like art Cimarrons. They make beautiful welds on them. They're beautiful aluminum. They got that quiet aluminum taping on it so they don't make a lot of noise and mess with the horses. This is a three horse trailer. Guessing some around 10,000 pounds. But don't go away, Mr. Chuck.tv. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yep, in the back seat you got all the center console with air. <clears throat> I think it's got heated seats. It does. Heated seats and all these plug-ins. Yeah, you know, there's all kinds of room. Here's the step that would be for crossroad toolbox. And you have an optional second step that drops below this one, which is really cool. Same way for the bumper step. I'm glad they got this. <clears throat> you also get a second step that goes below that and pops up and down. Yep, looks like a three inch receiver on this puppy. This has got a really cool slide out tonneau cover. Place up here to grab your hand. 
So you can reach up and get up on that corner step, and then you can get that second step, but it goes below that. And your tail light has all these lights for the smart hitch. So it tells you from the back side how close you are to being at your, your gross tongue weight will flash back here. This is the limited. It's got the VIN number here in the center console. Nice big console. The tray. Deep. You got some more outlets in there. All kinds of ways to charge things up. And the cup holders, yes, you got four. You can slide this one over there, make one. Some more room to stack stuff. Your phone charger, some more USB cords. Shows that I'm low on def, def fluid. Pull the mirrors. Let's see what oh, this is. How you get them out. Let's find the one for. Oh, there it is. Tilt them in. When you shut it off, close the door, it tilts all back out. That's just too cool. That's a window lock. And of course, you got power extended. Mirrors, great, great toy mirrors. E brake, all your light adjustments. You can put lights on the mirrors too, which is kind of nifty for backing up. Adaptive cruise control and the steering wheel. Yeah, let's see. Let me pull the steering wheel down a little so you can see the screen. Now in the screen, you go down here to your knob by your four-wheel drive. Go. And that's normal. And there's tow haul mode. And there's eco. I use that to get a little better fuel mileage. And you get slippery roads. And it all works out automatically. Shut the four-wheel drive off. Okay. And then where was I? I was always uh, slippery roads, off-road, all kinds of stuff. And you shut it all off by just going back to normal though. Well, I like eco, but yeah. Too cool. A giant screen, it's a 12-inch screen. I'm going side of the seat and all those controls. And the very back one, the round one, that's your massaging seats. So if you hit the massaging seats button, between slapping the mosquitoes around, I like the whole layout here. There's your charger. Let's see, let me find that massaging seat. There we go. And you can know the driver, the passenger, and you set them all up. There's a whole bunch of settings for the massaging seats. Now, let's see. Oh, yes. There's a folding seat. I'm going back. I'm going back. Well, I'll go back and go take a nap back here with the massaging seat on. Boy, that would be heaven, wouldn't it? Oh, must be hitting the back seat. And that goes back further. It's hitting my camera case. But that is so cool. Take a nap, which I need once in a while. Beautiful seats. Yes, indeed. Got to have all this comfort in this. And there's your gooseneck picture. You can actually see your gooseneck ball when you're hooking up to it. And then with this pro trailer, you can actually back up right to your trailer. You get the ball right underneath the coupler. It's so awesome. And then you got all the weight distributing systems with a pro trailer the uh, pro scale and yeah, it's too cool what else do you want this is just super nice interior on this puppy but yeah I play with cameras all day long yep there's the front one there's the front one this must be a wider front one yeah that's the 360 or half of that Look at the back, and you can angle in on your tailgate. And the split view, which is really cool. 
That's exactly what that trailer's up to. So awesome. Morning off. You got a whole series of gauges you can add to it, which is cool. Now it, uh, the best RP, the, the top end power RPM for the torque is 1600, and then it's uh, 2600 for the horsepower maximum power. Yep. And it's got a Ford Link app that we, you can actually use to figure out what your trader capacity is. You go to Ford.com, put in the VIN, put in different accessories you might use so you can get that narrowed down. But yeah, it's like all dualies, it's a 14,000 gross vehicle weight rating. Of course, no EPA rating on this. I'll show you what I did get with that. And the cameras stay on, it's the new law now. You can put all these different cameras on, watch your hitch, watch your payload, all that while you're driving, which is just too cool. Particulate air filter, I guess it's a cabin air filter. Yes, this puppy's loaded. It's a 355. It's not a limited slip. It says so there. Then later on they deducted it, so it must have ran out of chips. Yeah, never know. Made in the Kentucky plant. Yes, indeed. While I was doing this with Andre, we only had three brake applications coming down the hill with a big load. It was like 27,000 pound trailer. Very capable truck. It's an Icon Silver. And the interiors are Admiral Blue Light Slate Leather. It's, gorgeous. it's like a two tone on the seats. Squatting, you can just point your headlights down automatically. 48 gallon tank, that's wonderful. And a new turbo to get all this extra power. Gorgeous seats, front and back. Of course, these back ones, they fold up. And yeah, all these cages here, you can fold them forward, you can walk them, you can do all these things, and you have enough room for a full screen TV back here. Yeah, it's all kinds of stuff. And that's nice how these fold down. And the seat has a little lever. You finally get to that lever there, and then you can fold it back down. But that is so cool. It's nice to have storage under your seat. You need all the room you can get. Yes. I love these. And both sides of the seat do the same exact thing. You got all these cool floor mats. But this seat just folds up like the other one. And then you have. I guess this might be for where the ball goes. And put it away. But yeah, these all lock. And they fold out of the way. Man, I love underseat storage. And here's that lever. Pull it up. It doesn't go down. Too cool. I used to complain about these four big giant nose pieces underneath here. That's to make it aerodynamic. Make it do better fuel mileage and handling. And it does. I'm actually getting 18 miles a gallon with this 350, just 2023 with a high output. It's amazing.